Hello. Hi, welcome to another class at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona. This is the Advanced 3 group. Hello, Gabriela, can you hear me? Hello, Gabby, can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Fine. <clears throat> Okay. Well, thank you very much for logging in. It's a pleasure having you here. Now, um, you. you're welcome. Let me ask you something. Were you uh, on uh, Thursday's class? Thursday, no. No? No. Oh, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. So, <clears throat> yeah, on Thursday, we were actually working with Future Perfect. And uh, the first thing that we're going to do today, it's a short review of Future Perfect. Okay. Okay. So, in Perfect. the meantime, do you know what is the tense? What is the future perfect tense? The structure, I don't remember. Okay. All right. Don't worry. Fantastic. Let me then share something I have with you. Okay. We're going to do a quick review. And also, Rodrigo, good to see you. All right, so um, recapping, guys, future perfect is a verb tense used for actions that will be completed before some other time in the future. All right, so the examples we have right here, in just a minute, we don't really need this. Good evening, Good evening Rodrigo. All right, so we have this. The parade will have ended by the time Chester gets out of bed at 8 o'clock. So just recapping real quick. How do you say, um, ya me voy a haber dormido, hello, Nidia. Ya me voy a haber dormido a las 10 p.m. Anybody? Let me give you the structure. We're going to use the subject. Plus, will have, plus, verb, and past participle. <coughs> plus, complement. So, this is going to be the, the structure, all right? So, give me a subject, Gabby, please. Any subject. Uh, me. You, Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela. <laughs> what is the next part of the structure? We'll have. We'll have, and give me a verb in past participle, anybody. Uh -huh. Any verb in past participle? Eaten. Eaten. How do you say, Senna? Dinner. So, how do you say, para Gabriela va a haber comido su cena a las ocho de la noche? Gabriela will have already eaten her dinner. Uh huh. By. By eight o'clock. Eight p.m. Correct. <clears throat> All right. Very good. So this is going to be the structure, guys. This is what we practiced on. Hello, Frederick. It's what we practiced on Thursday. Okay. Hello. Hi. So how do you say, Freddy? No va a ver completado su tarea Freddy para mañana. Won't, Freddy won't have completed uh -huh, the completed. homework tomorrow. His or her homework? His. His, his, his. Homework? His homework by tomorrow. By tomorrow. Okay. And how do we ask, ya se va a haber conectado Rodrigo a las ocho? It's a question. Uh -huh. Anybody? Repeat, what please. Ya, um, ya se va a haber conectado Rodrigo a las ocho de la noche? It's a question. Uh -huh, my dear friends. What normally happens when we have an affirmative sentence and we want to make it a question? 
we switch the auxiliary instead of, of the subject. At the right? beginning. Uh huh. Exactly. We do this movement. So, what do you think is going to happen? What do we have first? We'll have. Will. Will. Uh huh. Will Rodrigo have? Rodrigo connect. Uh -huh. so Will Rodrigo have? Uh huh. We're gonna do this. Will and the subject. Will and the subject. Will Rodrigo have conectado? Connected. Mm. Online. Mm. Or login. Logged, Logged in. in. Very good. And in past participle. Logged. Logged in. By eight o'clock. Now, listen, listen a couple of things with this one, guys. Why do we have logged with double G? Does anybody know this rule? Because it's monosyllable. E yes, it's a one syllable word. What is L, consonant or vowel? Vowel, consonant. L. Consonant, consonant. Uh -huh. L. And what about O, vowel or consonant? Vowel. Vowel. And G? Consonant. 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 So guys, when we have this structure, okay? Oh, why, why C? I'm sorry, my, my, my bad. Consonant, vowel, consonant. We're gonna double the last letter. So for example, log is consonant, double, consonant, vowel, consonant. So, we add another G before the suffix. The suffix is the last part, ED or ING. That's why. Is it clear? Yes or no, guys? Yeah. Nidia, Rodrigo, Gabi, is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. So guys, I need you to talk to me because sometimes I don't know if I'm talking to myself. Okay, okay. All right, very good. So, do you guys have any question with Future Perfect before we go to the to, to today's topic? Uh huh. Guys, this is called dead air. When nobody's talking, it's called dead air. Como tiempo muerto, nobody's talking. It's just silence on the line. So, I want to avoid dead air. all right so now no one says no one said anything i assume that future perfect is clear so we will be able to go to future perfect continue remember that on thursday we blocked or we stopped the video and we discovered present perfect right so we're going to be playing present perfect continuous please go ahead and mute your microphone Okay. Right now it's loading. Just one minute, it's gonna load in a few seconds. All right, unfortunately, guys, it's not really loading, so we're gonna have to use it this way, okay? So, future perfect continues, guys is an action as you can see say it with me please repeat we use present perfect continuous we use present, we perfect, use continuous present perfect continuous to show that something is going to continue in the future to show that something is going, going to continue into the future, future until another action or time in the future until another action or time in the future or time in the future exactly 
So examples, Jessica will have been studying for five years when she moves to England next April. Jessica will Jessica have, will have Jessica been will studying have been for, five for five years, five years when she moved to England April. next April. Very good. So as you can see, guys, we're going to use present perfect continuous to talk about an action that will be happening in the future. Okay. What is the structure for future perfect continuous, guys? You have it right in front of you. Will plus the present perfect continuous. Okay. So we're going to have subject plus will have been plus verb ing plus complement. Okay. What is the structure, guys? Will plus Subject. the present, present perfect continuous. Subject plus we have been plus I don't know. Okay, very good. So how do you say yo voy a haber estado estudiando inglés por cinco años? I will have, I will have been studying English. For English. Five years. Study or studying? Studying. 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 Uh -huh. English for? Five for years. Five, five years. years. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And normally, as you can see here, by this time next year, I will have been studying English for six months. So pretty much is the same thing as... It's the same thing as future perfect, but the only difference is that this is in the continuous form. Okay? Next month. So, how do you say, yo voy a haber estado estudiando inglés por cinco años el próximo mes? I will have been studying English for five years the next month. Very good. Thank you. It, thank you very much. It's right in front of you guys. Okay? So, how do you say, <clears throat> I'm sorry, how do you say, um, mi primo va a haber estado viviendo en mi casa por cinco meses en abril? My cousin will so have been living in, in my, my house, in uh -huh. my house for five years next April. April. For five my years or months? Months. Months. The there next April. Okay. So that's it, guys. As you can see, it's not really difficult <clears throat> to use it as long as you have the structure. How do you say? Give me a name. Any name, please. Carlos. Yeah. Carlos. I really hope there is no Carlos right here. How do you say Carlos no se, no se va a haber estado conectando a clases? Por una semana, la próxima semana. Charm? <laughs> yeah, you can, say, <laughs> you can say Charlie. Charlie with IE, Charlie with Y. Uh -huh. Charlie will have. Is it negative? One. Oh, okay. Charlie won't have, have, have you connected. Uh -huh. Conectarse a la, a la sesión. Login. Log. Login in. Login. Mm -hmm. Login. And if you see here in the chat, if you see here in the chat, where is it? Oh, here. It's going to be with double G. Y, consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay? It's better this way. Login in to classes for a week. I forget that. <laughs> next week does it sound confusing no no all right very good a little. A little. very good <coughs> so guys here <clears throat> i have these exercises you know that i like to use this website because i consider she's got good exercises so yeah. what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna go to the break rooms as we normally do and we're gonna try to 
complete this. For example, okay. what do you think would work? I I will have been working. Will have been working all weekend, so I won't be energetic on Sunday night. Let's check. Yes, my friends, it is correct. So try to go ahead and use this. Remember, we have questions. And let's make sure that we complete it, all right? Okay. I'm gonna show you the link via the chat. So you can open it. Please go ahead and open it. Make sure you can open the chat. Before I do the groups, make sure you all can open the chat. Can you open the link? Yes. All right, so let me go ahead and open up the break rooms and let's make sure that we start working. Okay. Okay. There we go. Accept the invite, please. All right. Freddy, Julia, did you get the invite? Rodrigo? Logging in, one group is complete. There we go. For the let's start with the exercise. Yes. Well, um, I'm here in case you need me. You can start with exercise number two. T teacher, can you send the link? I, chat is. I sent it to the chat, but if you want, uh, let me go ahead and open WhatsApp web and I'll send I'll send it to uh, via WhatsApp. All right, give me just a second. Please, please, via WhatsApp. I'm working in my, in my cell phone. On your cell phone? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's going to be easier for you. Sure, don't worry. Second one, I think, is how long will how been wired? It no. It, how long? How long will you have been waiting? Waiting. Correct. Yes. How long? Yes. Thanks. Sorry. How long? Thanks. How long will you, you have been waiting? Will you? Yes. Uh, will. Uh, will you have been? Will you have been waiting? That's the number two. Yeah. Good. Help each other out. And that there. You do them. Okay, Julie. And Julie. Wouldn't have been eating. Well, uh, one. Yes, one two. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you use the right apostrophe so the system can can accept it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm doing it as well, so I can have it as a backup. And make sure as well, guys, that you check the rest of the sentence so you can get vocabulary, 
how you can get the context, etc. Yes. Remember that there's no difference with third person right here. We're always going to use have, regardless the. Uh, okay. I finish. Four. Who finished? Remember, help each other out. In the meantime, I'm going to check how the other group is going. Guys, are you doing this individually? Because I need you to help each other. Okay. So, for example, okay. hey, what do you think is number? What do you think is number four? Oh, number four, I think it is blah blah blah. Let me check. Oh yes, that's correct. Or no, that's incorrect. So help each other out. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Hi girls, how's it going? Uh, well, I have trouble with number four. Okay. Number four? Uh-huh. How long? How long will she have been planning to move uh, out? Uh, planning with double pen. That's right, constant and vowel constant. Now, my recommendation will be the following. Lydia, what, which one are you working on right now? I'm on seven. Okay, so in that case, remember, we are a team. Go ahead and help Lourdes uh, get into number seven, and then my recommendation is the following. All right, let's go ahead and do number eight. What do you think it is? Oh, I think it is blah, blah, blah. Let me check. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Let's both go to number nine, all right? Okay. So go ahead and help yourself out. Work as a team. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. In what, in which one are you, Lourdes? Number five. Okay. What, which is your answer? Mm -hmm. You have an answer? No, I'm thinking. I am thinking because I just love, I didn't, uh, I, I wasn't in the class a few minutes ago. <laughs> so I'm not too sure about this time of perfect, which of perfect continue. Okay. I, I, I think it's, will she have been waiting uh, long by the time we get there? Always we have to use have been. Yes, will have been, or if, if it is a question, will the subject have been doing, or the ING form. Okay, so number six, six Good. it should be, will he have been playing? computer games for 10 hours. Yes. There you go. Yes. Also, I'm typing the, um, the structure for a question in the chat. It will have been, number seven, they will have been the studying. Better get to, to number 10. All right, the rest of them we're going to do in, in group, and then we're going to practice our speaking skill. Okay. Ah, I, I put. Okay, number seven, they will have been studying all day. Yes. Now, number eight, they won't have been. Right. Number nine. Nice. I want have been walking. 
Yes. She will, number 10, she will have been playing. 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 She will have been number eleven. We will have been looking at houses. Yes, number twelve. We will, I know we want, have been doing, no, yes, all right, so since you already passed mm -hmm. uh, after number 10, then let's go ahead and go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So, thank you very much. We got Lourdes, Rodrigo, and Freddy. The rest of the participants will be coming pretty soon. Now, were you able to finish, guys? Which was the last one you completed? In your group, um, Freddy, Lourdes, and Rodrigo, which was the last one you completed? I finished all the I did. The 20. Yeah, I fin I finish only five because I have some problems with my internet uh, in my cell phone. On on my on, cell phone. On, on, on my cell phone. On mm -hmm. my cell phone. All right, very good. So don't worry, guys. Um, a couple of things that are very, very, very important is that if you notice on this grammar structure, you're gonna have always a time expression. Okay. And this is something that you always have to keep in mind so you can use future perfect or future perfect continue. I'm going to show you this one so you know what I'm talking about. There we go. If you notice here, you must have a deadline. Okay? Always a time expression, always a time limit. Because if you don't mention a deadline, you gotta use simple future. For example, Linda will leave. Are we saying when? No. No, we are not. So Linda will have left, is or Linda will have been leaving, it's incorrect because you don't have a time expression. So for example. It's, it's mm -hmm. the same like in the present perfect, the same rule that you we have to mention. Yes. The, mm, the thing is that present perfect is uh, I have traveled, for example. Oh, sorry, sorry. The past perfect. I had traveled is a situation in the past. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you kind of need on that one, yes. It is not like 100% needed, but it is like recommended for it to have a time expression. All right. So, guys, this is going to be pretty much it as far as the structure i know you need to practice so let's go ahead and complete the last 10. she plays squash give me the answer please she will have been playing squash she will have she will been have she will squash so she won't be dressed up okay we are giving a conclusion Next one. 
We will have been looking. We will have been looking looking at houses for four months next Tuesday. Okay. Next one, the negative. Want. Want. Have been doing. Have been doing. Great. As you notice, have been is not going to change. And then you have the verb in ing. Good job. Next one. How long? Will, switch. You, have been will you? Will you? Uh huh. Will you working? Will you working or will you have been? Will you have been? Have been working. All right, fantastic. Next one, next question. Will you have been buying clothes when I see you? Pronunciation of this one is close, all right? Say with me, close. Close. Like closing the door, pretty much. Close. 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 Negative. One. Uh huh. Well, have been okay. Who we'll have been working? What is it doing? Doing, uh huh. Correct, doing double check. Great, number 16. <coughs> how long we have been, I know how long the children have been sleeping. How long the children or long have the children? Um, how long the children? Okay, let's give it a try that way. How long the children? How long will the children? Okay. How long will the children? Being sleeping. I've been sleeping. I've been sleeping. Let's go ahead and have been sleeping. There you go. How long will the children have been sleeping? No, 17. How long? How long? How long? He will be. He will have been training. He will have been or will have will he have been? Will he have been? Will he have been training? Training. 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 Okay, very good. Training with double N or just with one N? Double N. Mm -hmm. So we have letter A, vowel, vowel, consonant. So one or two N's? Remember, the rule is consonant, vowel, consonant. Is this a consonant, vowel, consonant? No. Vowel. No, it's not, exactly. So it's with one end. Next one. Okay. We're almost done. Will you... Have been taking... Will you... Will you... Have been have taking... Been taking Exams the day we met. Remember, you always got to have a complement, okay? Next one, number 19. I will have been uh -huh. answering. Answering. I will have been answering. 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 Very good. Let's check it. Good. Well, I will have been mm -hmm. Do I have a mistake right here? Yes. What is the mistake? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. La, the the mm -hmm. I use the apostrophe too and always the same. All right. I'll have been. I'll have been answering. I will have been answering. Let's go ahead and show answering. what you want us to do. It's the same. Uh -huh. We'll have been we'll answering. Have been answering. 
So I don't know why it wasn't taking me. And the last one. It's a mistake in the platform. <laughs> Could be. Yeah, because it's not taking it and we have the same mm -hmm. unless I have done something incorrect, but I don't think so. And the last one. Will they have been traveling? Uh, give me just a second. Will they have been traveling? Will they have been traveling? Traveling. All right. Now, traveling, are we going to do it with one L or two L? One. One. All right. One. Mm -hmm. one. And then we have two. Now, listen, with this one, even though it's consonant, um. vowel, consonant, normally you're going to say traveling with one L in American English. But in British English, they use it with double L. All right, so in British, British, a couple of things are different. All right, so guys, I think that you are all great as far as the structure. Right now, I have a couple of questions for you. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. <coughs> um, give me a second. What book will you have been reading by the end of the month do you normally read yes i do sometimes okay I... do you watch series online mm. yes i do or soap nope. operas okay so i i will nope. be able to no nope. I won't be able to ask a question that everybody agrees, right? Or everybody does. So let's go with the first one because I consider that movies is, or series is more often. What kind of, what movies, I'm gonna do it in the chat. What movies will you have been watching by the end of the month? Mm. All right, what movies will you have been watching by the end of the month? Well, to be, to be honest with you, I won't have been watching any type of series because I don't have time. I'm busy the whole day and I'm going to be busier pretty soon. So I won't have been watching any kind of movies. That's the negative answer. Uh, to give you an example, ask me the question, what movies will you have been watching by the end of the month? What movies would you have been watching? Again, well, let me tell you that I won't, I won't watch any movie, but I will have been watching, let's say, La Casa de Papel for approximately two weeks, mm -hmm. right? Voy a haber estado viendo La Casa de Papel por dos semanas because I'm going to be on vacation by the end of the month. Wow. Oh. oh. No, that's not true. <laughs> I wish. But that, ah. <laughs> but that was a good example of giving more information, okay? So guys, go ahead and answer this question. You know the drill. I'm gonna give you two minutes, 30 seconds for you to talk about it, and then we come back, okay? You ready? Ready. Go, open, uh, accept the invite, please. Okay. You got two minutes, 30 seconds, go. That question because I lost lost my connection for a few minutes. Oh well, the okay. question is, what movies will you have been watching by the end of the month? There you go. Yes, yes, this is the question. Mm. Um, Let me think. I think I think how being, um, I think of how being watching the series Supergirl uh, for the end of the month. Okay. <laughs> I forget the question. <laughs> okay. And, and you, 
Well, um, maybe I will have been watching Suicide Squad. Suicide. Because, Suicide oh, okay. Squad. Thank you. You're welcome. Suicide Squad. Because okay. yesterday I watched. Um, watched. I watched. Uh huh. And see at the end. Watched. 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 Mm -hmm. watched uh, Prey of Beer. And I think it's a good movie. Okay. Um, I think I will. Um, I will have been watching by the end of uh, uh, time expression is gonna go at the end, Rodrigo. Okay, okay. Uh huh. I I will have been uh, watching mm -hmm. uh, my favorite series, uh, Billions. Billions with B. Billions. Mm -hmm. Billions is about uh, it's about uh, market share and oh, it's not market share. It's about um, stock market. A stock market. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's about the stock market and mergers and and buy and buy. Uh, shares uh, about uh, financial. Sorry, that was the alarm. All right, guys, let's go back to the main group. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, so now I need a volunteer to answer that question. Uh, Julia, could you please answer the question? What movies will you have been watching by the end of the month? Okay. I will have been watch, watching uh, the series Supergirl for the end of the month. Uh, okay. Because uh, I like this series uh, because I enjoy it with my children. Okay. Uh, and yes, uh, I would. I like it. All right, fantastic. So here you were able to use pretty much the uh, the structure. You used it properly, okay? Now, um, okay. what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna have one of the last questions, okay? Um, okay. What plans, I'm gonna write it down here, what plans will you have been developing by the end of the year because I guess we all have plans right we all have goals we all have something to do so say it with me what plans will you have been developing by the end of the year what plans, what plans will you have been what developing, plans you have been developing by, by the end of the year, year? By the end of the year. Well, guys, let me tell you that I will have been working on my own business, for example. I will have been paying my, my own house. I will have been looking for a new job or a better opportunity. I will have been traveling with my wife, with my husband, with my brothers, etc. Okay, so that's the good way to answer it. Make sure you use the structure and then add more information. Where, why, when, who. All right, let's go ahead and practice our speaking skills. Please accept the invite. And I'm going to visit Lourdes and Miria this time. So you guys can talk. Accept the invite, please. Right, Julia, it's just you, so you can accept the invite. Julia, can you hear me? There we go. Uh, boy, um, I'm not sure if a house or a local commercial. Excuse me, I couldn't hear you. Uh, by the end of the year, 
I will have been buying. Buying. Uh, but buying. Buying. Uh, buying. Buying. Uh, a house or a local commercial. Okay. I you hope. Have a business. Uh, not real estate, really. No, it's not a, a business like uh, I, I need the local for a business. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, I, I want a local for invest for the house. Ah, for we're going to rent it. Yeah, then to rent it. Okay, that's good. Only working for you, it's good. Yes. Yeah. And you, Nidia, what plans would you have been by the end of the year? Will you have been doing or developing? Oh, no, okay, I, I will have been traveling with my best friend to her oh, graduation okay. in Mexico. Wow. I hope, I hope. Oh, okay. You can say something like, because the sentence structure is a little bit uh, twisted there. I will have been traveling to Mexico for my best friend's graduation. Okay, thank huh? you. You're welcome. Try to repeat it with me. I will. I will have been. I will have been traveling uh -huh, to Mexico, Mexico. Mm -hmm. for my best friend graduation. Good for my best friends. The apostrophe best, of the profession. my best friends graduation. There you yes. go. Fantastic. All right. Add more information to it, Nidia and Lourdes. You can ask questions to each other. And which part of Mexico? Good Mexico. Question. Uh, Mexico have been saying Mexico City. She's studying a, a, a master degree online. She is doing right now her. Um, I don't know how to say thesis or thesis. Thesis, and uh, I hope she end and before. April because the graduation is on May. Oh. So we hope that she ends on time. She will have been ah. have been ending on time. And how much time will you have been spending in this trip? Excuse me? How much time will you have been spending in this trip? What do, you, what do you mean? Uh, how much time she will be staying in Mexico? Oh, One there week. you go. Okay. In that case, you can change it. How long? Instead of how much time, that's cuánto tiempo is Spanish, right? So how long uh, will you been? How long will you stay in Mexico? Yeah, you stay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. I I I hope I will. Stay in Mexico about two weeks. For about for about for about two weeks, uh, because um, we're traveling. We will be traveling by bus, and uh, we will stay in a in a family house. Mm. In a, in a relative's house. Relative house. Relative's uh -huh. house. Yes. All right. Very so good. So I think it will be not so expensive yeah and in general mexico is cheaper than el salvador maybe really yes almost half of the coast good. it's it's wow. good yes All so right. i hope it happens and do you plan to, to visit another city in Mexico? Or just the CDMX? Maybe Puebla mm. or Toluca or both. I don't know. They are uh, relatively close to City Mex. Mexico City. And they call it CDMX. I don't know. Oh, that's yeah. what you, I'm sorry. I heard City Max. Sorry. So City Max, you can say it. Yes. Yes, yeah, City Max. 
You can and, go uh, to the Nevado de Toluca. <laughs> Nevado de Toluca, yes, yes. I never have been there, but I would like it. <laughs> go to the Nevado de Toluca. I have never been there. I have never been there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I have been in Toluca, but I, I couldn't go to the Nevado de Toluca. And the time I, I, I've been, I been there, it wasn't Nevado. Ah, because the time of the year, maybe. Snowy. Yes. Nevado, snowy. Yes, yes it, was it was snowing. Snowing, no estaba nevando. Yes. Yes, so, I don't know, we, we didn't, we go, we went to the, the downtown. It's very interesting with museums and the park and and a lot of people. <laughs> yes, yes, it's it's it's, it's incredible it's, how many people live in that city. Yes, There's yes, yes. All righty, girls. So thank you very much. Let's go ahead and go back to the main group. Okay. okay. See you. See you. Alrighty, so Lourdes, thank you very much for being here. Um, right now, do you have any question as far as the, as far as both tenses, future perfect and future perfect continuous? Any question, Lourdes, Rodrigo? Oh, um, teacher, uh, I, I was talking with my classmates mm -hmm. in, <laughs> In the in the group or about um, about um, a website? No, it's not a website. It's a, a channel in YouTube. On YouTube. On, on YouTube. On YouTube. Um, is TED Talk. TED Talk um, to improve your listening. And, and other is. Um, M English uh, is other channel to to learn English very good. Okay, well, thank you very much. Do me a favor. I know the TED TED Talk channel is about speeches. It's very good. Write them down on the WhatsApp group so we can go ahead and check it. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So that was all for today. The review of Future Perfect and the practice with present uh, with Future Perfect continues. My recommendation is always be ahead. Always try to check the topic that is coming before the class so we can have more time to practice. All right, because pretty much 30 minutes was for the explanation, the practice. And uh, if you have time, try to do it before. So we can take more, take advantage of, of time and practice our speaking skills, okay? Okay. So um, it was a pleasure, guys. Let's go ahead and see each other tomorrow at 8.02. I always log in at 8.02 so I can give you time to log in and make sure, um, I guess that there's gonna be a, some sort of preparation after this course because this, this is last of advanced, but I think that there's something else coming for you so you can continue learning. Um, try to get in touch with the person, with the people in charge, send your documentation in case there's another one, okay? Okay, thank you, thank you very right. much. So thank you very much. It's a pleasure for, for me being here on behalf of English Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I wish you a good night. Take care, guys. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye.